Greetings and salutations all. In this video, we're going to be talking about a Mac OS application called Alfred and how we can create a workflow that allows us to quickly and easily access new Positron uh, projects while not actually being in the Positron application. So that said, if you're not on a Mac, I'm sorry, this video is not for you. Um, if you are on a Mac, and you either have Alfred or are okay with getting a application, um, this video is definitely going to probably help you out as you look to uh, start using uh, Positron a bit more. So with that being said, uh, again, um, Positron is a new IDE that was just released by Posit. It basically is a nice forked version of VS Code that's really data science um, oriented. So as a result, one of the first things that I wanted to do, right, is something very similar to how I use our studio, which is I create project files and then inside of Alfred, I would go, you know, find c.rproj and then go down, press enter, lo and behold, I get our studio opening directly inside of my project, right? So that's, that's the huge idea. But unfortunately, that is not something that's immediately available with Positron. They don't really have support for project files, which drives me nuts. Um, as a result, what ends up happening is there is an approach that was discussed called the full Garrick. And the full Garrick really basically is a nice idea, but um, it used another productivity app for Mac called Raycast. And unfortunately, Raycast's pricing is like either $8 or $12 or even, you know, zero. But um, it just, I'm not a huge fan of changing my workflow tools. And I'm not a huge fan of having one of the workflow tools that I depend on cost me money every month. Um, so with Alfred, I've had this awesome legendary uh, tier certificate for a long, long time, which in essence means I get free upgrades for life. So I like Alfred, right? So I built then a quick plugin for Prositron that you can get directly on GitHub. The link is down in the description. And basically what this allows you to do is very similar to um, what you saw with respect to RStudio um, opening up that project. So here, right, we have Tron, and then we can see a list of Positron projects. So the keyword here that I'm using is instead of find, Tron. Now, I want to emphasize here that this workflow is heavily, heavily, heavily based on the work that was done by Flavio Maria de Stefano with respect to his VS Code project manager for Alfred. So thank you so much, Flavio. Now, uh, that said, uh, again, you might be like, well, why, why not just use like a dot code workspace or something like that, uh, which you have directly inside of Positron, right? What you can do over here is, you know, you can save workspace as, right, is, is the general idea. Um, the reason why save workspace as does not work for me is effectively, right, if I go here, find... Um, uh, embedio.code and then workspace and I launch that, right? I really don't want to be taken into Positron. Instead, I want to be inside of uh, basically a VS Code editor. So if I switched, right, from having here find Embedio and then, um, you know, grab this, Go over here, go to get info, and under get uh, info, right, I changed it to Positron, and then I said change all, right? I, I would sort of be shooting myself gently in the foot. It's, it's not a bad thing. It's just not my preference at the current moment because, again, I, I sort of need VS Code active. Um, so that's, again, why you're sort of seeing this is an extension coming into play. All right, so Positron Project Manager for Alfred um, basically takes advantage of this 
uh, VS Code specific extension called Project Manager. And you can see that it's on uh, the Open uh, VSX registry. Uh, it works nicely inside of Positron. And yeah, um, it's basically how we're going to expose projects that were created in Positron to uh, the outside world. So let's now take a quick look at, I suppose, getting set up with this workflow. Um, for all intents and purposes, you can grab the workflow underneath the releases folder. So if I go up over here, I have it directly in the repository. I click on raw and lo and behold, it's downloaded. So if I click to launch this application um, or this workflow, Alfred pops up and I'll say, would you like to install it? And I'm going to say, yes, I would love to install it. And lo and behold, once it's installed, you know, we now have Tron, except there's no Tron projects that are currently loaded. So what we need to then do is we need to effectively create one with inside of Positron. However, before we do that, we have to actually grab yet another extension. Um, and this is that project manager extension. Right, so if I go over and I grab project manager, do, 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 right? Um, what ends up happening over here, right, is you now have the project manager extension installed. We can see a nice little folder down below, bada bing, bada boom, bada bang. Um, so we have all the key parts. Now we actually need to create an actual folder or a workspace that we can register with Project Manager. So to do this, there's a few options that you have. The first option here is you can just open a folder as is. The other option that you can do is you can use here um, basically the new project wizard that Positron added into the latest version of the public beta. So what I'm gonna do over here is I'm just gonna go ahead and click our project and you know I'll leave it at the defaults of my R project and then the parent directory is just my home directory. So it'll have that nice users run in my R project. And then I'll not create here a GitHub repository, but you know, I'll, I'll have this as is. So I'm also going to avoid here, you know, adding, you know, R environment tracking. So all the R packages that are, you know, are present, um, we're not going to try and version them because this is just a demo. And then here, right, there's only one version of R that I have installed. So I'm just, you know, going to leave everything as is on that end. And I'm going to say instead of a new window, I just sort of want everything to be refreshed in my current window. When I do that, right, um, basically Positron refreshed. And I now have this open script editor on the left hand side. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just sort of create a um, quick function, so hello world, right? That's that's everybody's favorite function. And we're gonna just say paste not hello world. And then um, over here, we'll say X and then boom, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and save this as the hello world example underneath that my R project. And when I do that, on the left-hand side, notice I get the hello-world.r. Okay, so something now exists, and um, we now have the ability to basically add more project files to it, to create an R package, you name it, all right? So that said, right, we do have to register this folder with, uh, in this case, the project manager plugin. And on that end, I would encourage you to use the command shift P uh, to pull up the command palette. And then uh, basically we want to use project manager and we want to say save project. And here we're going to officially register this project as my R project. So then I'll press enter. And now if we then re-pull up Alfred, so in this case we use Tron, Notice that I now have it directly listed here inside of Alfred. And what I'll do is I'm just going to close out of um, 
uh, positron. And now just to sort of show you that this works, Tron, and then um, my R project automatically relaunches Positron itself. So this is just a really useful way that I know of um, to get back at that ability to really have like that dot C uh, or dot uh, R project um, uh, capabilities uh, with a file name on disk. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye now.